is the PVA30 pipette after it's been calibrated. This demonstration is going to show what the hold pressure looks like and how to set the hold pressure. Right now I've got 35 PSI coming in the back. I've got nothing connected to the vacuum source. I'm not going to turn that around. I've got the vent switch in the vac position. There's a reason for this. I have a slight amount of pressure applied to hold, but not enough to make a difference right now. Over here on the microscope, we have the pica nozzle set up with a 2 micron tip with distilled water in it. And it's basically being held, and, in, and we're focusing on it with a 20x microscope objective. And then we'll go over to the monitor over here, and you'll actually see the very tip of the microscope, or the very tip of the micro pipette in focus. If I flip the switch back and forth between vacuum and hold, show, that, show this over here. What I'm doing is I'm applying a slight hold pressure. You can see that needle change. And over at the tip, what you can see the fluid changing. That's capillary action right now that's open to atmosphere. So that's the slight capillary action. I'm going to back off the hold regulator again, put the hold pressure back on switch, go back over to the, to, to the image. Now I'm going to very carefully adjust the hold pressure until the meniscus reaches the tip and not leak out. So that when I flip back to vacuum, I can see it pull back and go forward. And if I put a little bit too much on there, you'll see a little bubble come out. That's too much. I'm going to back that off and set that. So that's almost the, that is a perfect setting for the hold pressure.